Well, hello there. Uh, first, I'd like to preface, I am not sponsored or endorsed by Culture Hustle or Stuart Semple or anybody. I'm doing this simply because I love the materials and I thought it would be easier to show what I'm doing in video format. Um, and also, I am not Bean Boy. I will never be Bean Boy. And I have no affiliation with colour criminals like Bean Boy. Anyway, okay. So today I thought that I would showcase the whitest white beta set. So it comes in a set of three. All of them look identical, but they all have a different formula. And I thought that I could test them on paper um, and just show you what they do, because they're quite impressive, considering that they are only test formulas. And it's great that Stuart Semple and Culture Hustle let people like me you know, just regular artists use these materials at a much more affordable cost and not owned by companies and naughty people like Anish Kapoor. I also have a very, very cheap white acrylic. I just got this from the works, it was two pounds. Uh, and a slightly more expensive one, which is System 3, just for comparison. Um, and I also thought that at the same time, why not? Let's test it with some black as well. This is also from the works. And with some black 3.0, which is also owned by Culture Hustle, which is the blackest paint in the world. So just for comparison, I'll be using that as well. I have also got a set of three just bog standard Daily and Rowney brushes. I got these for, I think, £2.50 each in Ryman's. Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, that's the three quarter. That's the number six. And that's the ten over zero. Uh, so let's get started. Now I'm using the black paper first because the contrast shows up better. So this is beta one, I just did this as a test. I used a bit too much, but it spreads nicely. This has been on the paper for about a minute. It dries quickly. Uh, and this one is quite watery as well, but I will just clean off my brush and then try beta 2.0. Just dip my brush in. I am currently using the number six. Paint this one on. Now, I think that this one is quite a bit more opaque and I used a lot less paint as well. I used a lot less here and in my opinion this one is slightly more opaque. I will just turn the light away and I think it's quite obvious on the camera here. This one applies more nicely as well. Uh, and now I will try the 3.0 paint. Now these paints do seem to have a little bit of scent, I'm not sure whether that's intentional, but Beta 2.0 especially has quite a vanilla -y smell to it, which is, is, is pleasant, it's nice to work with. Now this one is my favourite of the lot, this is Beta 3.0, and again you could see that I used quite a small amount of paint there, and if I switch this light off just a second, you can really see the contrast in my opinion. You know, if I hold this up, this is beta 1.0, this is 2.0, and this is 3.0. I think that this is the best formula, and I have also tried this on white paper off camera. Uh, it's a little less obvious, you, you can see where I've applied it, but this is one, this is two, this is three. And this was just an experiment on tape. This is wax covered tape that came with the box. I found that out quite by accident. Um, and it was an interesting experiment. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some white, regular white paint on here as well. So I've got my System 3 and I've got my paint from the works as well. I'm just going to put that on and see what happens, see if there's a really major difference. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and I have given all of these paints ample time to dry. Excuse the marks there, I accidentally dropped my tissue. Uh, I've also put some black down here just for contrast. And to recap, we've got beta 1.0 here, beta 2.0, and what I've decided is my personal preference, beta 3.0. Now, I did put a second coat on all three of these. This is only one coat. This is the works paint, which is probably the worst of all of them. And this one is the system 3, which it, it, it's okay. You know, it's got a better opacity, 
but the texture isn't fantastic. And then just for contrast, I put some black at the bottom here. This is the works black that I've got here. This one is System 3 Mars Black, and you can see that that is quite shiny. And then this absolute monster is Black 3.0, and you can really see why this is the blackest paint. I mean, look at that. I'm shining this into direct light, and it's doing absolutely nothing. And I felt it was quite fitting, actually, that Black 3.0 is matched with Beta 3.0. The two threes, it's almost like they were destined to match. And... They work really nicely. Of all of the three paints, I think that Beta 1.0 is my least favourite. I thought that the texture was quite milky. Uh, even after two coats, it's not completely opaque. It just wasn't the best experience for me, but I'm, it's certainly better than any of the white paints I've got nonetheless. Then it was Beta 2.0. Now, what I really liked about this one is it's got a really nice smell to it. I'm not sure whether that's intentional, but it's got a very nice vanilla smell to it. Uh, I thought that this was really good, but again, it's not completely opaque even after two coats, although it did apply as a better texture. And then, of course, we have the winner, Beta 3.0, which even after two coats, I mean, one coat was pretty opaque as it is, two coats, completely opaque, uh, it's matte the same way that Black 3.0 is, but it's got all of the good things about both of these paints. So it has the texture of Beta 2.0 and it has the overall kind of paintability of Beta 1.0. But I think that this is by far the best of the three and I will be submitting my feedback on that soon. But yeah, I really look forward to seeing the overall formula because looking at what he's done with Black 3.0, I mean, this is insane. I'm shining this in direct light and it's doing nothing. It's completely matte. And this, I mean, this is pretty darn reflective as well. You know, look at that again. You can hardly even see the texture of the paint. It's pretty amazing stuff. But yeah, that is my review on Stuart Semple's White 2.0.